hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we are doing a sephora haul the sale is now over and i'm gonna show you guys a few things i picked up during the sale when i say i did a little damage i did a little damage but I also feel like my friends and family helped me up a little bit because their birthday gifts this year was where it's like Sephora gift cards. So they ate it and abetted clearly my addiction. So you know, it is what it is. So if you would like to see what I got for the sale, please keep on watching. Okay, so I got a mix of everything. Got skincare, I got makeup, and I got fragrance. So the first thing I picked up was the Herbivore Aquarius BHA Blue Tansy Clarity Cleanser. It looks like this. I've been using this for the last few days because, you know, I want to see how it works. So you guys can see this is how the bottle looks like. You guys can see I've used it. And if you have tried the Vore, um Blue Tansy like oil, same scent. It's to help clarify your skin. I usually always use the Skin Fix Plus Alizaic Acid cleanser but that was $45 and this is $10 cheaper so I was like let me try something a little bit more different for my skincare I picked up the uh inky list 15% vitamin c and EGF um serum I get this like almost every sale it's like a staple for me in my skin collection and I actually did not pick it up for a couple weeks and I was struggling out here and then I picked up the ordinary retinol 1% in squalene of course my discount didn't work on this but i picked it up i'm not keeping the box because i still have my other one but i picked up the sephora makeup cleansing balm y'all know this is my tried and true cleansing balm i pick this up every sale without fail it is so good and it's only 16 dollars and it was 30 percent off so was i was i gonna say no to this no and then this is literally i bought this because my cousin bought it and i was like oh i need a new moisturizer i also picked up the kills ultra face cream um 24 hour daily light weight hydrating formula uh, with squalene and glacial glycoprotein and I got the big boy as well and oh I used this once just to see how it is so moisture it's actually more moisturizing for my and my Clinique moisturizer like different moisture this is just $80 so after the sale like this pair lasts me until the next sale because I think I'm gonna buy it again that's it for skincare that's what i picked up for skincare okay now for makeup i'm gonna leave my fragrance to last okay so i picked up the cali ray surf proof setting spray and i got this because kathleen lights used it in a video and she said it made her makeup last really long and i was like okay i'm gonna get it then so i got it and the mist on this ooh, when you watch me do this makeup you'll see the mist it is gorgeous it is so fine and it's so fine that you may not know that you're spraying too much on your face so just be careful this is definitely like i'll keep i'm keeping this this is how she looks like okay love her um the next thing i picked up was the kv the good apple full coverage serum foundation in 082 it's the foundation i'm wearing right now first but not it wasn't way too okay way too warm i am a true on her tongue which would have heard me say when i watch me cute this face but the package of this bottle is so gorgeous okay it has a little um thing inside here you guys can see it has a notch where you the lid goes in it's really pretty it's just a lot more warmer than i expected so um the next thing i picked up which you would have heard my thoughts about is the tarte skull tape contour in rich bronze this is the darkest shade and it's not like it didn't sculpt my face my face is sculpted it's just a natural sculpt and i do have i do have contours that are deep enough early more sculpted like more like chiseled out look i don't have contours for like a soft type vibe and this is what this product gives me it gives me soft vibes i also feel like it's a dupe for the charlotte tilbury like once so you open it and then you actually like twist it and then you squeeze the product and it comes out here but as you have seen in the video um it was darker than my skin but it was also blending in and giving me like a super soft sculpt look which is not bad like if i was doing it for a natural look i'd wonder but i thought this was gonna give me like a chiseled look so i'm very iffy about this like right now like i don't know if i want to keep it or so i also picked up the one size secure the sweat dry till dawn primer 
and I picked this up because like everybody was talking about it oh my gosh I don't want to open it but this is the packaging and wow so much product came out I wasted so much product but I, I used a little bit amount I did watch Patrick's video of him using it he said he just really need like a little amount like the where you get oil, where you get oily and sweat a lot and kind of like you know let it sit for a minute so that's what i did and i mean i can't really tell you how long this is gonna last i didn't enjoy it it didn't flake on me so that's good i know a lot of people it was flaking on them so it didn't flake on me because i really like let it sit and i like did other things um, and then I picked up the Huda Beauty Matte Warm Up Sessions Palette. I really don't need another eyeshadow palette, but I feel like every time the sale comes around, I see a shadow palette and I'm like, oh, I need it. And then, like, I pick it up. And, like, I don't just, I find that eyeshadow palettes nowadays are not calling my name. I'm like more focused on my skin than my eyes. I have so many eyeshadow palettes, I don't need more. This one called my name because that's how it looks like. This is such a me palette. It's actually crazy. It's like a nice matte palette of like everything I need um, in my thing. Do I have colors in my collection like this? 110%. But I also like a good mini palette from when I'm traveling. I don't have to carry that big palette. So I picked this up and I honestly, I love it and I'm going to keep it. So the next thing, oh, the next skincare item I picked up was the Hydrating Serum from Sephora. And this was just to replace my hyaluronic acid because um, I want to pick up something new. And it's really pretty. Everybody was saying that this is super hydrating. It feels so hydrating and it feels super smooth too. So I'm excited to use this. I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk 3 Intensity is what I have on right now. She ate that with this and so I'm happy with it. Um, and then I picked up the Tower 28 Sculptino Soft Contour. Again, I also am wearing this. It really didn't do much for me. I feel like these sculpting products were not giving me what I wanted. I can't take this out the box, but either way, I'm gonna return this, I think, because it didn't do what I wanted. And then I picked up the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Dewy Liquid Blush in Gray because I wanted this nice red blush for this summer and it looks so pretty. I have it underneath another blush. I picked that up and then I picked up the gloss on my lips with it's the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Heat in Fuzzy Heat. I don't do lip bumpers because I'm like, I got big lips, but what's the pretty shade and it looks pretty on, so I got that. And then another primer I picked up was the Glowish um, by Huda Beauty Blur Jam. Now, this is $44. I thought the container would be a little bit bigger, but this is it. I feel like it really did like lure out my pores and stuff so I feel like I get I get so many primers but I always stick to ones so I might keep this one I might return it the next thing I picked up was a Charlotte Tilbury airbrush setting spray I got the mini size um, because everybody raves about this and you know love it I mean I'm straight in so I have weddings this year so um the next thing I picked up was the Urban Decay Quickie Concealer and I actually like the shade I was a little hesitant on the shade, but the shade actually works really well. And it's the concealer I have on right now. It's full coverage. It's doing what it needs to do. It looks great, so yay. Then I picked up Rare Beauty Positive Light Silky Touch Highlighter in the shade Plum. The highlighter I'm wearing now. So pretty, so pretty. And it doesn't like emphasize texture too much. So gorgeous. I love it. And then I picked up the House Lab Slush in Watermelon Bliss because everybody was saying this was the blush that everybody should pick up so what did i do i listened and i picked it up and it's the blush i'm wearing right now it's super pigmented light hand light hand the lady goggle blushes um the next thing i picked up was the vanessa myricks blush in balloon i put this up because it looks so pretty on the model if you guys can see that if you rub it too much it's just to like help but it's a really nice color so we're gonna try that out. for the perfume i picked up one perfume i was gonna pick up two but i picked up one and i picked up the prada candy floral i got this up the bigger size so i picked this up because i wanted to find another spring perfume and i felt like i had so much fall perfumes but my spring perfume was kind of like not there so i sprayed this one and i let it sit on my body and let it like kind of blend in with my chemistry for a little bit and it smells so good 
versatile. Perfume is very, very, very versatile, so don't ever take my recommendations and run with it, but smell it first before you purchase it. So this is the bottle. It's so pretty. This is definitely like a like spring summer scent. My other spring summer scent is my Versace Bright Crystal. Um, this is also, I would say, like a first date, a like daytime date. This is your perfume. That is everything I picked up during the Sephora sale. I did ridiculous damage. This is a lot of product. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.